Welcome, fellow travelers. It's that time. Once again, it's time for this. It's time for the Psychedelic Test and right here on CHIRFM and on Radio Gordo. I'm your host, Randall LeBron, guiding us through two hours of psychedelic rock on your Saturday night. This week, well, we're going to kind of get back into the usual flow of things. Last week, we did our David Crosby Memorial Special, taking time to uh, acknowledge the passing of the man and uh, some of the greatness of his musical legend, which was proven, I'd say, in the track selection that we had. Now, we're going to see just a smidge of carryover into this week's show just because I wanted to and because we talked about this song a time or two in that entire show last week because this is one of the ones that for me is a quintessential David Crosby song and it was one of the ones that we just didn't play. I'm um, kind of surprising being that we went deep into the material that the man produced. So we're going back to the first Crosby, Stills and Nash album, the uh, self-titled debut from the band, which is just a, a fantastic listening experience. Some of these albums uh, maybe seem a little kitschy, a uh, little gimmicky, and I've once heard a person say, you know, they don't always repeat those uh, or reward those repeat listings. This album still stands as just full of good songwriting and vocal harmonies, and I think that's one of the things that helps the legend live on with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. This song is a great song to actually enjoy that legend with. So, opening up the psychedelic contestant tonight, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Wooden Ships.
like a sister than mother Hey, hey. Lead her away from this foreign land Far away Where we're not laugh again We are leaving You don't need South on my shoulder I guess I'll set a course and go Co-written with Paul Kantner of Jefferson Airplane on a yacht in Sausalito Bay and that was the track Wooden Ships is performed by Crosby, Stills and Nash on their 1969 debut nice way to open up the show this week now just throwing ourselves into something maybe a little bit different but still keeping a nice vibe going uh, we're going to get into sort of a more classically feeling well set on the psychedelic test and uh, we got the seeds mr farmer standing by that one opened up their second lp web of sound before we get into that one how about we do one from eric burden and the animals this one uh it opens up one of my favorite movies about the 1960s starring Kiefer sutherland winona ryder uh we also have Robert Downey Jr. in there. Uh, Bruce Dern is in there. It's a great movie. It's called 1969. This song, though, is called When I Was Young. <laughs> Was so much colder then. My father was a soldier then, and times were very hard when I was young. When I was young, I smoked my first cigarette at ten, and for girls I had a bad yen, and I had quite a ball when I was young When I was young it was more important Pain, more pain, but a laughter much louder, yeah When I was young green and I learned quite a lot when I was young when I was young Was so much stronger then I believed in fellow men And I was so much older then When I was young When I Thank you. 
From the album Safe as Milk, it was the 1967 debut LP from Captain Beefheart and his magic band. And the thing was, is that song didn't appear until the following album. Uh, because, you know, why be that obvious, I suppose? Uh, instead of uh, anything resembling the title of that album, we just listened to Plastic Factory. A nice bit of a stomping groove from Captain Beefheart and the magic band. The Seeds, Mr. Farmer, before that from 1966. Is at late 1966 is Web of Sound LP. Eric Burden and the Animals When I Was Young was the one that opened up that three song set. And continuing along, I suppose this one uh, kind of uh, ties in with what we heard on that first song tonight. Buffalo Springfield definitely bringing that uh, vibe. We had Stephen Stills in this band uh, back in the day when uh, Neil Young was also in the band. Of course, those two names would come together uh, when Crosby, Stills, and Nash was joined by Neil Young. Really tempestuous personalities. Uh, I really really firmly believe that it was that creative that that ego friction that created that creative tension that allowed for such great songs to be coming out of it now this one a kind of is an example of how when an artist is pushed maybe just a little bit too far well those bonds break down and it doesn't necessarily hold neil young left buffalo springfield to work with producer jack nietzsche to produce this song ended up bringing it back instead of putting it on a solo album and brought it back to the Buffalo Springfield project. Apparently, too, one of the things that uh, Nietzsche did to uh, Neil Young was make him record every single line separately because (laughs) that notorious Neil Young voice wasn't very good for staying on uh, key for the entire duration of the recording, so it was a laborious process. The song is fantastic. Buffalo Springfield expecting to fly. i 
rested on the edge of your feather, expecting to fly. Well, I laughed, I wondered whether I could wait. Every move you make, watches every step you take. Look out for radiation risk in freshwater lakes. Look out for me, I'll tear you apart. Look out for me, I have no heart. Hello, my dear, you know I'm here. I'm Rocket the Roger Ship. Oh, Roger the Rocket Ship. Creeping communism to party majorities The frightened right spiders Other crawlers of the night Governors and presidents of universities A Hayakawa, Okinawa Anyone too old for changes Girls that pick their noses Rubber hoses, war toys, boys Feed the flu, new girls and showers with your father. Look out for me, I'll tear you apart. Look out for me, I have no heart. But hello, my dear, you know I'm here. I'm Rocket the Roger Ship. Oh, Roger the Rocket Ship.
circus light keeps flashing. A stone crumbled and fell. Steel beams snap in the I don't feel right. Many strangers have arrived. Wearing a net that I actually picked up that first album by that band. I was in the record store looking for the 13th floor elevators, psychedelic sound of, and managed to find that one. And the guy working the counter, his name was Ernie. He said, well, if you like that one, you're going to love this one. He says, uh, you know, yeah, the 13th floor elevator is pretty cool. But the West Coast pop art experimental band is one you're going to listen to a lot more. And you know what? No word of lie, he was absolutely right. From the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band and the album Part One, we just heard in 1906. Before that, Markley, and from the album A Group. Now, Bob Markley, he was actually a member of the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. By the time 1969 had rolled around, he'd already left to form just the Markley monikered group, and uh, hence the album A Group. And from that one, we had Roger the Rocket Ship. Very similar vibe between those two songs. Buffalo Springfield, Expecting to Fly, opened up that set. Next up on the show, while well, I just recently picked up a, my own final actual vinyl copy of this album, so I figured, ah, let's throw it into the mix tonight. Coming out is now from Donovan. This is Where Your Love Like Heaven, right here on the Psychedelic Test on Cheer FM and Radio Gordo. Father in sky, brush and blue. Scarlet fleece changes hue Crimson ball sinks from view
once more, fill me with song. Ala, kiss me once more, that I may, that I may.
because it's been only just a little while, I, I just had to throw that one in. From Love's Forever Changes album released in September of 1967, that was the Red Telephone, easily my favorite song issued by that band. I, I can't think of a time when I will dislike it, and I suppose as soon as you throw down an absolute like that, uh, maybe I'll find a reason to dislike this song. I highly doubt it. Um, I could easily find a reason to play it within the next like four shows <laughs> on this show. I, I most likely won't do that, but man, I, I love that song. Uh, before that, we had Donovan, Wear Your Love Like Heaven. Next up on the show, fellow travelers, we're going to get into a set from one artist. I, basically, we're looking at the entire second side of the Moody Blues 1967 album, Days of Future Past, one of the most iconic album covers in rock music. Uh, it's very difficult to explain but if you know it you know it uh, if you don't know it and you have one of those fancy little devices i.e a phone or a laptop or a tablet somewhere nearby well go check it out the moody blues days of future past this originally came out on the durham record label uh, part of the reason why the london symphony orchestra is on here is it was a way for the band that was already kind of floundering like this is kind of album one proper from the band they had some earlier stuff which it didn't really hit the mark the band wasn't necessarily in the great shape so yet they're like yes we will take part in this project and that interweaving of the orchestra with the band itself was creating something that ended up becoming well, one of the earliest footsteps in what became progressive rock. So that's pretty cool. This is still pretty heavily psychedelic rock. So let's do this. This is all of side two. We have evening, the sunset, twilight time standing by. But uh, let's get it rolling with this one. The afternoon featuring forever afternoon, Tuesday, time to get away. <laughs> Just beginning to see Now I'm on my 
never make a sound fading away in the sunset night has now become day for everyone I can see it all from this great height I can feel the sun slipping out of sight and the world still goes Night 
dance in white satin Never reaching the end Letters I've written Never meaning to send Beauty I'd always miss With these eyes before Just what the truth is I can't say anymore Cause I love you Some try to tell me Thoughts they cannot defend Just what you want to be You will be in the end And I love you
breathe deep the gathering gloom. Watch lights fade from every room. Bedsitter people look back and lament another day's useless energy spent. Impassioned lovers wrestle as one. Lonely man cries for love and has none. New mother picks up and settles her son. Senior citizens wish they were young. Cold-hearted orb that rules the night removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white, but we decide which is right and which is an illusion. The set inside closing with Knights in White Satin, the band The Moody Blues, the side while it was side two from their Days of Future Past LP, uh, featured the three segments, the afternoon, evening, and the night. Uh, the afternoon was Forever Afternoon, Tuesday, Time to Get Away. Evening was The Sunset, Twilight Time, The Night was Knights in White Satin. A lot of great work right there. The band, uh, of course, growing to be an even bigger force in the psychedelic and then progressive rock worlds after that. I'm Randall Liberon. This is the Psychedelic Test and right here on Cheer FM and on Radio Gordo. Uh, let's stay in the UK for a little bit longer. Now we're going to sort of drop maybe the more um, ornate stylings that we just heard on the Moody Blues and bring it back to something a little, well, bluesier in in all honesty a um, little more rocking we have something from cream standing by but i i wanted to check this one out just because uh yeah i want to check out something from let it bleed this is the album opener from the rolling stones 1969 lp this is gimme shelter
Going back to 1968 and the Wheels of Fire double LP. That was Cream and White Room. Now, uh, just for those of you who may be keeping track of these sorts of things, that song was also featured in 1969 where, uh, you know, the song uh, When I Was Young by Eric Byrne and the Animals provided the opening theme music. Uh, So, yeah, there you go. 
and we can kind of tie those things together. Next up on the show, fellow travelers, uh, if if the Rolling Stones and Cream started uh, setting a scene for something getting a little bit heavier and a little more rocking, we're going to continue that vibe right along with a Canadian band known as The Collectors. Uh, they ended up morphing into Chilliwack, but before they got to that point, they were at this point. We're going to check out two songs from their Grass and Wild Strawberries album, but just before we get into that one, we're going to check out something from 1968. The band is Iron Butterfly, the song is Iron Butterfly theme.
interesting how over time Steppenwolf has shown themselves to be one of my just most favorite bands from this whole sort of psychedelic rock scene although they were the heavier bluesier end of everything I've been listening to them so much lately it's actually kind of surprising myself that one comes to us from their debut LP uh, the self-titled Steppenwolf album song called The Ostrich uh, love the lyrical content and not only that song but like so many of the their, their songs it wasn't escapist music um, at least very very little that i can really think of my favorites all tend to deal with some aspect of society in a way that wasn't necessarily really showy don't step on the grass sam was pretty good but then i guess okay <laughs> They just jump to mind and you look at Born to be Wild and Magic Carpet Ride. And I guess those are pretty damn escapist if we want to be uh, splitting hairs about that one. So uh, my favorite Steppenwolf songs tend to be about society. Not that they were the only ones. Okay. <laughs> the Collectors, uh, two tracks from Grass and Wild Strawberries. The two songs that open up that album, Overture and Into Grass and Wild Strawberries, that we're playing before that. Iron Butterfly theme from Iron Butterfly opened up that set. Uh, this next one, well, it's going to be a single song. It's going to comprise its own set of its own. It was the song that sold me on The Grateful Dead, so that's a pretty bold statement. Coming to us from the album that was known as uh, Skull and Roses, uh, Skull F. <laughs> maybe if, if you want to be the more crass crowd that knows these things but uh, most of us just call it uh, Grateful Dead this is the song Warf Rat right here on Cheer FM and Radio Gordo Ask me 
for a dime, a dime for a cup of coffee. I got no dime, but I got some time to hear a story. My name is August West, and I love my pearly finger best more than my wife.
you know, sometimes I do a voice break and I'm like, what did I say in that last bit as I was introducing that song? Because I think I said that was 1972 and that wasn't 1972 for that Grateful Dead album. It was 1971, 72. They'd gone over to Europe and that produced the uh, 72 Europe albums. And uh, those are pretty fantastic in and of themselves. But uh, the Grateful Dead or well grateful dead because the grateful dead was the title of their debut album grateful dead was the title of the 1971 live album which featured some great songs that uh, only ever saw a reading in the live context never was brought into the studio wharf rat being one of my favorite songs that the band did and yeah there's no studio version of that one so <laughs> that's that's the original the og version that we just heard next up on the show fellow travelers let's do uh what's looking like our last a set of songs for the night and we're going to come back with a single song after this set two bands three songs we got mountain standing by but uh, i felt like doing one from john lennon just because uh, it just I, I liked the attitude really that's that's about it I and mean, i love the way that he savagely tries to take down paul mccartney on this one because uh reasons <laughs> John Lennon from the album Imagine this is How Do You Sleep <laughs>
Mountain. That was Nantucket Sleigh Ride with Tonta, Sammy's tune that uh, started that one off. Nice little bit of instrumental work going into the bigger track itself. Mountain doing some really epic songs. And it, that, that song always reminds me of a friend of mine in college. Um, I think of her every time I hear that song. Uh, when they say goodbye, little Robin Marie. Well, I, I happen to know somebody who is Robin Marie. Uh, which, of course, she had a last name, but... Her first and middle names were Rob and Marie. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of interesting. At least one of the little idiosyncratic bits that I have when I listen to that. John Lennon from the album Imagine, his ripping takedown of Paul McCartney on How Do You Sleep. Uh, you, you know, gotta love lines like, The only thing you done was yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> he wasn't a fan of that one. He, he really never was. So um, a little bit of the acerbic John Lennon attitude on that one. And now, fellow travelers, we do find ourselves at the final song of the night. And the honor goes to Jefferson Airplane. This one felt perfect for wrapping up the song or the show tonight, because this song is their version of wooden ships. So coming to us from their 1969 album, Volunteers released the same year as that Crosby, Stills and Nash debut. This is Paul Kantner's uh, take on the song that he wrote with David Crosby. So let's check it out right now. Wrapping up the show tonight, Wooden Ships. Oh, I 
that's it, fellow travelers. We've made it through to the other side of another edition of the Psychedelic Test. And I want to thank all of you for lending your ears to this program tonight. It's always appreciated to know that some people are tuning in and enjoying what they hear. Uh, I want to throw a thanks out to a CHIRFM and Radio Gordo for being home bases for this. Uh, Radio Gordo, of course, on the Radio Gordo Spreaker page having the archive of this show and for those of you who want to check it out on the facebook page for the psychedelic test and as the pinned post it's a direct link to the archive so you know if i'm maybe slow posting shows to facebook and you want to check it out head to the psychedelic test and facebook page and the pinned post right there on the page is that link to the archive you'll hit them quickly that way and so with that until the next time you want a psychedelic time we'll meet here at seven o'clock clock on our Saturday time. Until then, peace. I can't walk out in the morning.